All right, we're, we're back. It's been about an hour since uh, the meat's been on boiling. And Keisha just ha chopped uh, cilantro and added about a handful to it. And so the cilantro is just floating on top. I haven't really stirred it. It's just floating on top. And so that'll uh, help spread that flavor, that cilantro flavor mm -hmm. in that. So yes. we're going to let that go. And we're still just probably got about another half hour yep. uh, of, of the boiling. But now what she's done is she has cut up the in, sli in slices the bell peppers, right? The red pepper and the onions, and they're all in slices and thrown uh, some more garlic in. And now she's taking more of the special seasoning, the magic seasoning, and she's going to uh, uh, not marinate, but use that awesome. as a dry rub on yeah. that as well. Yeah. So cool. Yes, sir. So she's gonna do that, and then we're gonna add, you're gonna add the cilantro after that's done. Mm -hmm. So you had one packet, or how many packets are you gonna put in I that? I just We've, did one, um, just to give it a little bit of color and flavor, but um, we'll end up adding more in the actual pot. Okay. According to taste, right? Right. So you're counting how many packets we've gone through so far? I do. Okay. <laughs> so listen, I gotta write it down. Uh -huh. Coat those veggies with one one packet. Yeah. We're making notes, copious notes as we go. And so you, how many fresh cloves of garlic did you put in this? In this one, it's about three again, uh, but chopped up. Okay. Yeah, because it's not gonna disintegrate. Like right. Right. That. And, and so that was a full green pepper, a small one. You did mm -hmm. a small one. And then the red pepper that was one and two thirds, mm -hmm. and she chopped up some finer onions and red pepper that'll then go with the beans. So she separated that out. So, yep. so basically, there's two shy, just a little bit, two uh, white onions, mm -hmm. two red peppers, one green pepper, the cloves, three cloves of garlic, mm -hmm. and the special sauce. Yes, special thing. And now the cilantro here mm -hmm. is going to go into that. It's going to go in when we put that in to okay. the pot. Yeah. Okay. So the cilantro we have in here is just kind of spreading it in that that now. Mm -hmm. And then when do the ha habaneros go in? So the habaneros actually will chop up afterward, and we'll have them kind of as an additional spice because kind of like a salsa kind of thing exactly. on the side. Exactly. Okay. Um, however, if because now this time I made so much more meat mm -hmm. if it, if that one can of rotel wasn't enough to kick up the spice then Maybe i'll add, add that yeah, okay yeah so we'll, we'll check it out and, and taste it and then it's totally up to you if you use the seeds or not i like the seeds because i love the kick right right but just like with every hot pepper the yeah. more seeds the spicier and, and what i do is i look at or, or query who i uh serving yes right so i've mentioned on my show before some people are allergic to cilantro. Right. So if I'm making this dish, I'm sure it'll have a different flavor without cilantro, mm -hmm. but you don't want to get a guest sick or them not be able Absolutely. to eat it. So in my guacamole and my salsas, even in my uh, like green chili and, mm -hmm. and beans and all that I do, if I'm serving people, it's like, I, I, I try to find out who is allergic or doesn't right. care for it. And, and you can adjust. Absolutely. And now I have a question for you because yes. the cilantro, which uh -huh. is what usually goes, which we found out is coriander. coriander. Right. Now it's a family of the cilantro. So if you're allergic to cilantro, would you be allergic to that? I don't know. You may be. Mm. You may be. So it's good to know because this definitely has yes. it. Yes. So FYI, if you are allergic to cilantro, do some research and find out if coriander exactly. is something. That's a good point. Yeah. Before you eat it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we, don't. <laughs> we don't want anything like that. <laughs> Can't blame me if it happens. <laughs> That's right. There's a yeah. disclaimer on this, yes. right? It's like, well, and, and then, you know, there are the, all these allergies. So, like, yeah. the questions on my last show were around my gumbo, and somebody was asking about it because I put shrimp in the gumbo. Oh. And what about people with seafood allergies? Yes. And I said, look, you can Shaw do it. And... Yeah, you can do it with just the chicken and the sausage. Yes. Or conversely, you can make one that's just all seafood. You right. have crab and oysters and all that. Yeah. And, and see, the gumbo, which I think this is 
similar in the thing is like, what do you have around? I got yeah. extra chicken, I have extra pork or whatever. So there's versatilities. It's like that, that traditional one pot meal yes. that every culture kind of has. So it's yeah. a stew, it's a chili or whatever. It's like, you know, a lot of people clean out the refrigerator and do soup on Sundays uh -huh. with everything that's left in the refrigerator. Yeah. Right. Now, just really quick, because yes. we are. This is this is recording for him, right? This right. isn't like okay. So, um, I just wanted to ask you. You used rotisserie chicken for the chicken for the gumbo. Correct. But what sausage did you use? I used andouille. Ah, of any brand in particular? No. no. Okay. It's just it, it's so hit and miss when I can find it in grocery stores out of New Orleans area. Yeah. So, it, it's whatever I can find. I can usually only find one brand. Gotcha. So I use that. But now I also use if they if I don't can't find andouille, mm -hmm. then I will go ahead and use a smoked sausage and, and okay. do that. But the thing that I do is I sear my sausage before I add it mm, into the pot because it's so juicy. Oh, right, so that holds that that flavor yeah. of the sausage and oh, the gumbo. So good. Yeah. Otherwise, it, it absorbs all the other flavors around, and, and by searing it before it goes in, it kind of makes a coating and, and keeps those other flavors out, so you still get the sausage flavor. That's what it does. Okay, my God. Like, my mouth is watering as we're making this because I'm thinking about his gumbo. This is crazy. It's all good. It's so good, folks. Like, but seriously, so, he's got it and all. And that's up the there on yep. the website. And all so yeah. delicious. And don't forget to follow Keisha Sierra, at Keisha Sierra on Instagram. That's right. So, cool. All right, we're going to let this yep. go. We've got another 30 